Hey guys, Mike here. In this video, I'm going to explain why you shouldn't just tackle things with Greatsword. So send this video to your friends who just say, just tackle it. And here I'm going to show with numbers why just tackling things is actually a damage loss. And if you want to be miserable playing Greatsword, then yeah, just tackle things. All right, let's take a typical monster enrage jab sequence for, let's say, a tempered monster. And uh, typically, the monster will attack on a 1.5 second time frame. And if you play a draw slash greatsword style, it will probably look something like this. So the monster tries to attack, misses, or you dodge it. Then you draw slash, you get your attack in. Then the monster tries to jab again. And then same thing, you dodge and you attack. And you just do that over and over. And the reason I'm using a jab sequence for Enrage is because this is typically the hardest and most demanding part of the fight. And it's really uh, where the top hunters are able to show their skill when fighting a monster. Because anybody can hit a non-enraged monster that does idle animations between each attack. All right, so let's look at the first situation. What will probably happen if you just tackle something? So this is what I call the hunter whiff. And what will happen is the monster will try to jab and attack and the hunter will tackle here, which is indicated by this green bar. But so they'll tackle through it. They'll get some damage and tackle does not do a lot of damage. I guarantee you just look at the damage numbers of a draw slash compared to a tackle. It's pretty pitiful. But you do tackle through the attack and then you go into a strong charge slash. So when you go into your strong charge slash, what will typically happen is the hunter will whiff it because the monster is already starting its next attack over here. And if you don't completely whiff the monster, you'll usually whiff the weak point or the part you're actually trying to hit and you'll probably just hit like the body. And what will happen as a result of that is because a monster's already going to your attack and you're stuck in recovery, you will actually get hit by the monster indicated by this red X here. And because you got hit by the monster and this is a tempered monster and in a rage, it does a lot of damage. Damage, so you get knocked back and you get up and then the monster is starting to next attack because monster don't give a crap and you're stuck healing so there's there's no damage output on this exchange here by tackling here you just got in a tackle you did pitiful damage and look how much damage you're losing this is the most common case that happens all right let's look at another common case no whiff but take damage now this is pretty much the same as the one above but you actually land the strong charge slash after the tackle but you still get hit by the monster on the monster's follow-up attack because the monster doesn't get flinched and you take damage and you still got to heal that damage up. So you're not doing any damage output on the third exchange. Now let's look at something that could potentially happen. That's actually good for the hunter this is a monster with same deal as the one above. You tackle the monster first attack. You get off the strong charge slash. You actually hit the monster. And again, you may still not hit the ideal weak spot, but let's say you do. And the monster starts up. It's, it's already starting up his next attack, but for some lucky reason the monster actually whiffs you and you don't take damage here but you're caught in your recovery or strong charge slash you're not able to capitalize on that monster's attack because you still have to roll and sheath here and then the monster's still starting its next attack and because you're you're fully recovered you're able to say get in a draw slash and this is a pretty good situation but the thing is this situation monster whiff does not happen that often it is very rare it's basically just getting lucky i would say these top two situations happen 90 percent of the time at least so if you sort of total all of these possible outcomes, you can see how much damage you're not doing by just tackling things, especially if you're trying to use tackle offensively. Now, tackle is good as in, oh shit, I effed up. Say you go into a charge and you're caught with your pants down in a charge, monster's about to hit you, then yeah, just tackle it. It's a very good last resort defensive option. That was actually not present in the older Monster Hunter games, believe it or not. But I, I see some greatsword players, they just go into a charge and they're trying to just tackle things, thinking they're going to get a strong charge slash or a true charge slash off on the monster. I guarantee you nine times out of 10, you're not going to hit that strong charge slash, let alone the true charge slash. Don't even try it, especially when the monster's enraged and has a 1.1 attack speed. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope you learned something and thanks for watching.